Just before most of Europe was shut down with the coronavirus crisis, I managed to catch a short time in Warsaw, the capital of Poland. This is the impressive Palace of Culture and Science, with a total height of 237 metres. It's the tallest building in Poland, constructed in 1955. It houses various public and cultural institutions. There are some impressive views of Warsaw from the 30th floor observation gallery. I'm leaving the history of Warsaw to the guidebooks, but to fully appreciate the city today, you need to know that it was almost obliterated from the map during World War II. The Nazis terrorised the local population with arrests, executions and deportations. At the end of the war, the city lay in ruins and 800,000 people, more than half the population, had perished. The composer Chopin grew up in Warsaw. The Chopin Monument in Wazenki Park was erected in 1926. Such was its symbolic power to the Poles that it was blown up by the occupying Germans in 1940. Fortunately, the original mould survived so a copy could be resurrected in 1958. The park itself includes manicured greens, an ornamental lake and wooded grounds. There are two palaces, an amphitheater and various follies. I'm heading now towards the Old Town. Destroyed at the end of World War II, Warsaw's Old Town has been atmospherically recreated. There are plenty of shops and stalls to browse here.
I can't resist a hot chocolate and some cake at this popular cafe. Now, I'm tempted also to buy some chocolates. This is the Umschlagplatz in Warsaw's former Jewish heartland. This was the location of the railway terminus from which 300,000 Jews were transported by the German military to Treblinka extermination camp between 1942 and 1943. Now, if you've seen my previous videos, you'll know I love a good market, and there are many in Warsaw. Now, today is National Women's Day, so there's plenty of flower buying going on. Public transport in Warsaw is very easy to use. These machines are all in English and it's easy and safe to use the trams, metro and buses. I'm visiting a museum now that looks at life under communism in Poland. Well, that was a glimpse of Warsaw. I hadn't really intended it to be such a small glimpse, but coronavirus meant flights were being cancelled and I had to get back to London. Hope you enjoyed the video, short as it may be. I'll see you next time.